If the average US household switched to electric vehicles, it would result in an additional electricity consumption equivalent to running 25 refrigerators. Congressman Thomas Massey, an electrical engineer, highlighted this fact during a discussion with Secretary of Transportation Pete Buttigieg regarding President Biden's goal of having 50% of U.S. cars be electric by 2030. Massey correctly asserts that this ambitious transition to EVs is a dangerous fantasy based on political science rather than sound engineering, given that most current and future grids cannot support such a substantial increase in electricity demand, as evident in California's struggling grid. Despite this, various entities including governments, media, academia, large corporations, and celebrities continue to promote the imminent shift to EVs as an inevitable and desirable outcome. In reality, they are attempting to manipulate public opinion to support a massive and questionable agenda. There are three compelling reasons why this push for EVs appears to involve something sinister. However, before delving into these reasons, it's crucial to clarify the term fossil fuels. When the average person hears fossil fuels, they think of a dirty technology that belongs in the 1800s. Many believe they are burning dead dinosaurs to power their cars. They also think fossil fuels will destroy the world within a decade and run out soon, despite the fact that, after water, oil is the second most abundant liquid on Earth. None of these ridiculous notions are true, but many people believe them. Using propaganda terms like fossil fuels plays a large role. Orwell was correct when he said that corrupting the language can corrupt people's thoughts. I suggest expunging fossil fuels from your vocabulary in favor of hydrocarbons, a much better and more precise word. Hydrocarbons refer to molecules composed of carbon and hydrogen atoms, which serve as the fundamental building blocks for various substances, including energy sources like coal, oil, and gas. These hydrocarbon-based energy sources have long been the backbone of the global economy, powering industries, transportation, and homes. Now, on to the three reasons EVs are a giant scam at best, and possibly something much worse. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you learned something. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell, so you won't miss any update. Finally, watch until the end to avoid any misunderstanding. Thank you. Reason number one. EVs are not green. The fundamental idea behind electric vehicles, or EVs, is their potential to reduce carbon emissions by using electricity instead of gasoline. However, this overlooks a crucial question. What generates the electricity powering EVs? In the United States, over 60% of electricity is generated from hydrocarbons, meaning that oil, coal, or gas likely play a role in charging EVs. It's essential to recognize that carbon is a vital element for life on Earth, as it is what humans exhale and what plants require for survival. Even if we accept the notion that carbon is inherently harmful, EVs do not truly reduce carbon emissions, they merely shift them around. Moreover, the production of EVs involves extracting and processing rare materials, requiring substantial power typically provided by hydrocarbons. These EVs also rely heavily on rare elements like lithium and cobalt, extracted in environmentally unfriendly conditions, often leading to toxic waste. Each EV is estimated to require about 1 kilogram of rare earth elements, primarily extracted in China, where environmental concerns take a back seat. In essence, the idea that EVs are environmentally friendly is questionable, serving as a pretext for governments to justify substantial taxpayer subsidies for the EV industry. Reason number two. EVs can't compete without government support. For years, governments have showered electric vehicles with subsidies, including rebates, tax exemptions, grants, and credits. According to the Wall Street Journal, these subsidies will amount to at least $393 billion in the near future, exceeding Hong Kong's GDP. To put this staggering figure in perspective, imagine earning $1 per second non-stop, it would take over 12,677 years to reach $393 billion. 
And this doesn't even account for the substantial past government support. Governments also burden gasoline vehicles with regulations and taxes to make EVs appear more attractive. Despite these extensive subsidies and favorable treatment, EVs struggle to compete with gasoline vehicles. J.D. Power, a consumer research firm, reports that the average EV still costs at least 21% more than the average gasoline vehicle. Without government support, the EV market would likely collapse, becoming unaffordable for most consumers. In essence, the EV market relies heavily on government intervention, raising questions about the motivations behind this extensive support, whether driven by corruption, ignorance, or potentially something more sinister. Reason number three. EVs are about controlling you. EVs are powerful surveillance tools, amassing vast user data, easily accessible to governments. Analysts estimate cars produce around 25 gigabytes of data every hour. This potential to integrate EVs into a wider control network is evident, offering intrusive possibilities. Imagine a scenario like the Canadian test, if they drove EVs, authorities could have quashed the dissent more effectively. In essence, those in power seek to limit your freedom and access to independent energy, aiming for comprehensive control, similar to a farmer managing livestock. This explains their push for the shift from gasoline to EVs, aligning with their objectives. In a nutshell, electric vehicles aren't as environmentally friendly as they seem, rely heavily on government support to compete, and may play a significant role in a growing high-tech control system. The solution is simple. Eliminate all government subsidies and support, and let EVs compete on their own merits in a totally free market. But that's unlikely to happen. Instead, we should brace ourselves for an intensified push for EVs. While they might initially appear as government-subsidized status symbols for eco-conscious elites, the reality could be far more concerning. These EVs may be integral components of the ominous grid set, a dystopian vision of the future, crafted by global elites. This so-called grid set resembles a technologically advanced form of feudalism, one that much of the world remains unaware of. What's even more disheartening is that many individuals unwittingly support this agenda, believing they're saving the world or working for the greater good. This transformation is already underway, and the coming weeks may prove pivotal in its unfolding. Now, it's time for me to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it interesting or informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Remember, the more people know about these important topics, the better. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable and have helped shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.